Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to build a search form and a results page and embed them both into a single web page. The idea is to have your visitors come to your website and quickly be able to filter results based on these fields. So if I type in Fremont for city, it's going to list me all the libraries inside that city. But I can quickly go ahead and leave this blank and click search again and that'll pull all of my results. Let's log inside our account and see how this application was built. To save time, I have already named my application, same page, and I have already uploaded my libraries inside my application. So if I go to my tables, and if I open my table, I'm able to see all of my records. Now let's go to data pages and let's see how this application was built. We're going to click on new. You're going to select submission form. This is really going to turn into our search form. We're going to select our table because that's where all the data is going to be from that table. I have already pre-configured my search and result style and my localization as well to match the look and feel of my website. But you can later on go to styles and localizations yourself and configure your own look and feel to match the look and feel of your own brand or your own website. Let's call this data page search form. And uh, we are going to need to enable advanced options and enable parameters. Click Next. The three fields that I'd like to search my results on is the library name, city, and zip code. And instead of actual fields in my search form, because these, if you leave it like this, it's going to submit data into your table, we're going to need to create a virtual fields. And we're going to need three of them. Virtual fields are actually going to serve as my search fields. Uh, if you have a virtual field, it's actually not submitting anything to the table. Uh, it's going to be passing it to the results page. So let's name the first one library name. In the advanced tab, I'm going to pass this field value as a parameter. Now let's go ahead and abbreviate that as LN for library name. The second one is going to be my city. In the advanced tab, I'm going to pass that field value as city. Last but not least, we have the zip code. So let's go ahead and name that zip. And we're going to pass this value as zip code inside the virtual fields. Basically, what I'm doing here, just to uh, clarify a little bit, if I go back to my example, when you type in the library name, it's going to pass that value to the results page. And the results page is going to receive that value. And now that we have our virtual fields set up, let's go ahead and delete the actual fields. We're not going to need that, so we don't duplicate the fields. Let's click Next. And over here, we don't need to see a confirmation message because we're not really submitting anything into the table. We're going to leave it as the same form. So the form will actually refresh upon submission when you click Search. Finish and Close. You can preview this form now to see what it looks like. And if you're happy with, uh, with the preview, you can click on the Deploy button. And now you can embed this search form into your website by copying the snippet of code. So here I have a sample template already set up where I'm going to show you how to embed this into a web page. And I'm going to open up my script. And I'm going to paste that code into that part of the website. Once I save my script and refresh my page, you're going to be able to see that search form seamlessly embed into that part of the website. Now notice that my actual application has three different columns here and I have a single column. So let's go ahead and modify that inside our account. We're going to go ahead and click on Edit for the search form. Click Next until you get to the configuration screen. And right over here, since we enabled Advanced Options, we're going to click on that tab and we're going to say I want the label to be on top of my field. And I also want to say Continue Next Element on the same line, which means that this field now is going to be on the same line as the library name. So let's select the city field. I want that label to be on top as well and continue zip code on the same line. And for zip code, all I need to do here is put the label on top of the field. Click Finish. Now let's take a look at our website. And notice that you don't have to redeploy that code twice. Once you make that save, once you save your changes inside Caspio, it's going to automatically reflect on your website. All you have to do is refresh your page. 
Okay, so the next step is to create a results page underneath the search form. So let's go back to our account, click on new data page, and this time we're going to build a report. Let's go into tabular format, same table, same style, same localization, and let's call this results. And I'm going to enable my advanced options and parameters again. We need to filter the data. We're not actually searching for anything because we already built our search form. We're going to allow parameters and we want bridge and external parameters. So the three fields that we're filtering our data is the library name, city, and zip code. So we need to include those three inside our results page. And now we need to configure the filtering fields. So the library name, I'm going to have this be contains instead of equal because if I leave it as equal, that means that I'll have to know the exact library name before I can get that result. But if I leave it as contains, it's searching for partial keywords or one or two letters, and if you know the letters, it's going to pull up those results. In the advanced tab, we now need to receive that parameter from the search form. We need to set it to external parameter, and let's abbreviate that as LN as well. And this t needs to match the, the same parameter that you're passing from the search form, the abbreviation. We also need to say if empty, ignore criteria. And what this means, if you leave this field blank, it's going to ignore it and it's going to pull up all of your results. And now we need to set up the same thing for the rest of our field. So city, contains, advanced tab, receive this parameter as city and ignore the criteria. Same thing for zip code, contains, receive it as zip code, and we're going to ignore the criteria if we leave it blank. On the next page, we're going to select our results. So we want to display library name, city, state, and maybe phone number of that library. Uh, we're not going to make any changes to the results page. We're going to display 25 libraries per page. Let's enable a details page, and let's include all of my fields inside the details page, and when you're done, go ahead and click finish. And now we have a results page. So now we're going to click on deploy, enable access, and copy this code, and paste that code directly underneath our search form. Right over here, I'm going to save my script, refresh my page, and now we have the search form and results embedded into a single landing page. If I go ahead and click on Fremont or search for Fremont City, we're going to be able to see those results. So this concludes the tutorial on how to build a search and results on the same page using Caspio. I hope you enjoyed the video and let us know if you have any more questions.